Hello there. This short housing market update will give you a solid understanding of the current trends in the U.S. housing market. I use local information from Tallahassee, Florida to demonstrate trends that most local markets will find, though the absolute dollar amounts may differ. You will gain a great understanding of current market conditions in your area by watching this video to the end and focusing on the percentage changes that show the direction of the market movement. Okay, let's get started. Exploring the Tallahassee housing market, we uncover some complex and changing behaviors shaped by the forces of demand, supply, and high-end property trends. This market has experienced significant fluctuations, from a notable decrease in distressed property listings to a substantial contraction in the luxury segment, where the supply has reduced from an extensive 21 months to just five. The evolution of the housing market is a testament to five key trends that have formed in recent years. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor, or somewhere in between, understanding these trends is key to unlocking the potential of today's housing market. Join us as we explore the intricate dance of numbers and narratives that define the real estate scene, offering insights and opportunities in equal measure. This graph plots the monthly supply and sales of homes in Tallahassee and offers a nuanced perspective on market conditions. The green and red lines represent sales and inventory, respectively, while the blue bars indicate the months of supply of homes. The gold line, our primary focus in this graph, plots the relative supply of homes for sale, adjusting for the rate of demand, with the gold field identifying market equilibrium. That's the market state where neither sellers nor buyers hold an advantage. We use this graph to help buyers and sellers understand and prepare for the specific market conditions they will face. The current positioning of the gold line below the equilibrium zone indicates a strong seller's market, characterized by lower relative supply of homes than demand. This situation typically results in upward pressure on prices and a competitive environment for buyers, who may find themselves in bidding wars or having to make quick decisions. Despite experiencing this for more than four years, Tallahassee and most other local U.S. housing markets still haven't constructed enough homes to significantly ease the challenges for buyers today. Politicians largely overlook the housing crisis, and those who do attempt to address it often mistakenly concentrate on boosting demand rather than increasing the supply of homes to meet the need of our expanding population. Despite these conditions favoring sellers, there's an observable trend toward reversal, suggesting a gradual shift that could lead to a more balanced market. This shift is significant for both buyers and sellers. Buyers may soon find more options and less competition, while sellers may need to adjust their expectations if the market cools and becomes more equitable. This evolving dynamic underscores the importance of monitoring market trends closely for those looking to make informed real estate decisions in Tallahassee and the overall U.S. housing market. If you're a longtime subscriber, then you know I often discuss housing market conditions because you'll benefit greatly when negotiating on a home when you know what the other side is facing. If you're not a subscriber, please click the thumbs up like button and subscribe now so that you get all my new content when it is fresh. If you really want to know what's going on in housing, to see and hear the data explained, to evaluate the facts, and ignore the hype that is so prevalent online, then subscribe now and I'll keep you in the know. The analysis of the luxury home segment in Tallahassee reveals distinct market dynamics when compared to the broader housing market. In this specialized graph, the color coding remains consistent with the previous general market graph. Green for sales, red for inventory, blue bars for the months of supply, and the gold line representing the relative supply of luxury homes for sale adjusted for demand. The gold field highlights market equilibrium for high-end homes. A striking feature of the luxury home market is the significant decrease in the relative supply of homes for sale, with the gold line now below five months of supply, a sharp decline from the 21 months of supply observed in 2017. This dramatic reduction signifies a robust shift towards a seller's market within the luxury segment, characterized by a much tighter inventory relative to demand. This tightening of the luxury market indicates increased demand for high-end properties in Tallahassee, driven by factors such as economic growth and historically low mortgage interest rates. The bulk of the excess supply of luxury homes was consumed when rates were near 3%, and today we still see the 30-year fixed rate well below its 50-year average. 
For sellers of luxury homes, this trend suggests a favorable market condition, with the potential for quicker sales and possibly higher prices due to the limited inventory. On the other hand, buyers face a more competitive market, with fewer options and the need for swift decision-making to secure desirable properties. The marked decrease in the months of supply for luxury homes underscores the importance of timing, market knowledge, and strategic planning for participants in this segment. Whether looking to buy or sell luxury properties in Tallahassee or beyond, stakeholders would benefit from a keen understanding of these market dynamics to navigate the current landscape effectively. This graph showcases the current status of homes for sale in Tallahassee and offers the perspective of what out there is truly available. It plots homes under contract in blue and those listed but not under contract in red. The green line represents the percentage of homes under contract each month, while the dashed green line indicates the annual trend for this metric. In a balanced market, 17% to 30% of listings are typically under contract. However, Tallahassee's market, much like the overall U.S. housing market, has been exceptionally tight on inventory, with over 50% of listings under contract for more than three years, and peaks were over 70% of listings were under contract, highlighting a challenging environment for buyers due to the scarcity of available homes. Imagine looking to buy a home in Tallahassee only to discover that of the 20 listings in your price range, only six are really available. Many U.S. home buyers have been struggling with this for years. Currently, the percentage of homes under contract stands at 45%, the lowest since 2019, suggesting a slight market easing. This shift could indicate a more favorable environment for buyers as more of the inventory remains available for viewing and purchase. If this trend strengthens, sellers might need to adjust expectations and strategies in a market that is becoming slightly less competitive for buyers than in previous years. Years ago, somebody asked me what percentage of listings sell each month. You could say he wanted to ascertain the normal percentage of home listings that go under contract monthly. To answer his question, I created this normal graph, something I've updated with more than 15 years of Tallahassee housing data. Understanding local housing market dynamics requires a deep dive into historical data and trends. One particularly insightful analysis comes from a graph that plots over 15 years of housing data focusing on the number of homes that went under contract each month plotted in blue, against the percentage of the inventory sold, plotted in red. This graph introduces a concept of normalcy in the market through a red banner, which delineates the expected range of inventory turnover in a balanced market environment. In a typical year, the market would exhibit a balanced distribution. Three months would fall below this normal range, indicating slower sales activity. Three months would surpass it, showing heightened activity, and six months would align within the range, suggesting a stable market. However, the data reveals that since before the COVID-19 pandemic, the Tallahassee market has consistently seen months in or above this normal range. This pattern indicates a prolonged period of strong seller's market conditions, where a higher percentage of listings are selling each month than would be expected in a balanced market. Such conditions typically result from high demand coupled with a limited inventory, leading to competitive market dynamics that favor sellers. Interestingly, the trend is showing signs of a downward shift, suggesting that the market may be moving towards a more balanced state. If this trend continues, it could mean that by the end of 2024, the market might return to a level with a more normal percentage of inventory sold. This potential shift towards normalization is significant for several reasons. For buyers, it could herald a market with more options and less competition, making it easier to purchase homes without the frenetic pace and pressure seen in recent years. On the other hand, sellers might need to recalibrate their expectations and strategies if the market cools and becomes more balanced. This evolving market landscape in Tallahassee and beyond offers a unique opportunity for stakeholders to adjust their approaches, whether they are looking to buy, sell, or invest. The anticipation of a return to a more balanced market under scores the importance of staying informed and agile, ready to adapt to the changing dynamics of the local real estate scene. Our final graph caters to viewers interested in staying updated on how foreclosures, short sales, and other distressed property sales affect the market. Tracking distressed property sales provides a compelling narrative about the evolving dynamics of the Tallahassee housing market over the past 14 years. It shows arm's length listings in green and distressed listings in red, and the navy blue line records the percentage of homes sold in distressed situations, providing invaluable insight into market health and trends. The current distress listing rate of 7% hovers just above an all-time low, suggesting a market that has completely recovered from the past turmoil like the 
the financial crisis in 2008 and subsequent years of economic instability. However, this figure comes with a crucial caveat. The overall number of active listings is at a historic low. This scarcity of healthy, arm's length inventory skews the percentage of distressed sales higher as there are fewer transactions overall. Understanding the significance of these findings requires a nuanced interpretation. If the inventory levels were closer to historic norms, the actual percentage of distressed properties on the market would likely be at an unprecedented low, indicating robust health and stability for existing homeowners. This scenario suggests a strong seller's market, where fewer homeowners are forced into distressed sales, reflecting an economy where more people are able to meet their mortgage obligations due to better employment rates, rising incomes, or other favorable economic conditions like the low mortgage interest rates over the past five years. This analysis not only highlights the current state of the market, but also underscores the importance of considering inventory levels when evaluating the percentage of distressed listings. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for making informed decisions for potential buyers, investors, and policymakers. When contextualized with the overall low inventory, the low percentage of distressed listings points to a market where home sellers control nearly every price point and location. As we've navigated through the intricate details of Tallahassee's housing market, from the overarching trends to the nuanced shifts within the luxury segment, it's clear that this market is both vibrant and complex. The journey from a period of high distress listings to a robust seller's market underscores a rapidly evolving landscape. For those poised on the brink of decision making, whether contemplating entering the market for the first time, considering an investment in luxury properties, or thinking about selling, always base your actions on a solid grasp of local housing market trends. The current trends signal a unique window of opportunity. Buyers have a chance to secure homes in a market that's gradually becoming more balanced, while sellers can capitalize on favorable conditions, even in the luxury segment where demand remains strong. The key to navigating this market successfully lies in informed decision-making backed by the latest data and trends. Don't let the complexities of the market deter you. Whether you're Drawn to the allure of luxury homes or looking to find your footing in the broader real estate market, the moment to make your move is here. Let our team of experienced agents guide you through the nuances of the market, ensuring that you make decisions that align with your goals and aspirations. In the dynamic landscape of the U.S. real estate market, armed with the right information and expert advice, you can profitably turn your real estate dreams into reality. If you want to see a video featuring my nine tips for buying a home in a highly competitive market, you can view it by clicking on the box on the left side of your screen. To see a popular video featuring my top six home selling tips, just click on the box at the right. Please remember to like this video, check out the links below it, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything.